beds, it's this loft area, sticks, hay and a mattress. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go. We're Jordan and Emily. In March of 2022, we quit our jobs and started traveling the world full time. Our mission is to see as much of the world as possible before we run out of money. After an amazing two week road trip, today we start the last adventure we're gonna have in Bulgaria. We've woken up on the Black Sea coast in a town called Varna, and tonight, if all goes to plan, we'll be toasting marshmallows on a fire from our super unique accommodation, a Neolithic hut. First, we have a five and a half hour drive west, but we need to get some petrol and supplies. Your destination is on the right. In all my experience of renting a car, it is always pick up full, drop off full. But in Bulgaria, they gave us a piece of paper that told us exactly how much fuel to have left when we drop it off. Strategically, if we fill up full now, we should be able to get to that point when we get to Sofia. That's the goal. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, full. Full. Turns out someone else is going to fill it up for me. Was it expensive? It's actually cheaper than the last time. Still not cheap, but uh, cheaper. Yeah. Nice. tonight I think we should have marshmallows this is all there is <laughs> road trip essentials bakery stuff for now chips off-brand cola for Jordan and then for tonight we're not 100% sure what the kitchen situation is we do have pasta we don't, didn't get sauce <laughs> we have dry pasta <laughs> But the Airbnb listing did say that there's a restaurant right around the corner. So worst comes to worst, we'll just go there. Still four hours. <laughs> We absolutely love doing unique accommodation stays and after our Romanian road trip when we ended it with the Mongolian year, we just fell in love with the idea of capping off a road trip with a unique accommodation. But today's isn't any regular unique accommodation. It's a 6,000 BC Neolithic village. For some reason, even though it has been freezing cold while we've been in Bulgaria, even zero degrees in Veliko to Novo, we decided that it would be a great idea to stay in an accommodation that has no power, no Wi-Fi, and no glass windows. making sure we're going the right way. There wasn't any special directions to get there because this is a dirt road in the forest. <laughs> it's a beautiful dirt road, but we have done this before in Romania and it didn't work out very well for us. I'm so glad I'm not driving. <laughs> Make sure we get it right this time. Let's go on to see if we can drive down this way or not. There's a beautiful lake down there, but I don't know if we'll be able to get there. Oh, really? Okay, we were able to reverse. <laughs> it looks like there's another road Sharp left. that we can take, but I don't know if it's actually going to be better than that or not. Okay, this is better. 
In 500 meters, turn left. So this is the map. That's the left. Water. Third and final option is luckily it seems to be a more official highway route and it's only going to take an extra like five minutes. I didn't think getting there would be this difficult to be honest. It's like in a village. Why is this where Google Maps is taking us? To a lake it doesn't know it exists. It's pretty though. Yeah, it's really pretty. Will be on the left. Wow. So, this is our home for tonight. It's actually part of a museum because, in the municipality of Chedvar, they found a Neolithic village and have restored some of the huts so people can rent them out and live as if it's the Neolithic era which is 6,200 BC, I think. So our home is made of clay. There are no windows because glass was not invented yet. Our door is made of sticks. Most importantly, we have a fire and a fire starting kit. So we will be warm tonight, even though we don't have windows. <laughs> Other than that, there's not that much in here. We have a little dining table and chairs, some storage for things. The door does actually have a lock, which I think is pretty impressive. <laughs> because this is part of a museum, there's people walking around. So until 6 p.m., it's not very private, but after then, we're gonna be living our best night in the museum. Time. For beds, it's this loft area, sticks, hay, and a mattress. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I can literally see through to the floor. Surprisingly comfy for like what looks like a homemade mattress on literal hay and sticks. Another thing we weren't expecting is we have our own private toilet included in this Airbnb. When Jordan pitched to me that we were going to be staying in a hut from the Neolithic era, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't that on board. <laughs> but this does seem pretty cool. So it's a traditionally accurate housing from 6000 BC, which I thought is a pretty cool draw card. One thing that I'm happy for in the moment, but a little bit disappointed in, they gave us light. Kind of glass windows, because glass wasn't invented yet, but electricity is okay, apparently. But it is nice. I mean, you get to see a bit more of it. I'm excited. What are we going to do? <laughs> Now that we are somewhat settled in, we're going to the restaurant. There was supposed to be a kitchen included. I, I don't think that um, little clay pots count. <laughs> we have come two minutes down the road to the only restaurant that's here. Luckily, we just have enough cash that we should be able to get some beers and dinner. It smells like the fries with the chips. So I don't even think I have an option. I think that's what I've got to get. And uh, smells like beer. So I guess I don't have an option. It's what I have to get. <laughs> Also, I got a Bulgarian wine for the first time. We heard the wine here is quite nice. We were gonna try and go to a winery in Varna, but we never made it, so. Mm. That's really nice, actually. Do you want some? We had our first Shopska salad all the way back at Sofia on like our second day in Bulgaria. So it's only fitting to end our Bulgaria trip with another one. It was so good then. This is so much cheese on it. I don't know how it's so delicious. Like it's so simple. It's so good. Cheese. Really didn't know what to expect. I thought it might have been like one quite expensive sausage, but to get three. <coughs> smells like a taco packet back home. 
I get like the taste of old El Paso like burrito mix. It's way better than we could have cooked if we did have a kitchen. Worth it. I can't wait to get back to our 6000 BC home. Light a fire, make some marshmallows. I'm pretty sure beer might have been invented somewhere in the world back then. <laughs> We are also alone here now. There was so many people when we first arrived here. It was noisy and loud and packed. And now, it's just us. Just us and the people packing up because we shut down that restaurant. It's really peaceful here though. It's so nice. We're like in the middle of the hills and they've obviously got all the autumnal colors. Is there a video in Bulgaria where Emily hasn't said autumnal? <laughs> autumnal. 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 In autumnal. If there is, we can go in and change it. <laughs> you have the keys? Yeah. Okay. I'll carry them so you can do stuff. So they have quite a few different huts that it looks like people can rent out, but I'm pretty sure we're the only ones. Luckily, no one from the museum will disturb us. <laughs> Hasn't really worked yet. Three people have come in and been like, oh, very nice. sort of entertainment they had back in Neolithic times, but I think Singapore Air playing cards are definitely a step up. Ooh, marshmallows! <gasps> We're gonna find a stick. Very, very peaceful here at this time. When we first got here, there were a few screaming kids, like it's a pretty popular place apparently on a Sunday when there's good weather. And now it's just us, and apparently one last screaming kid in the distance. Mostly, just us. Do you reckon that's long enough? No. Oh. <laughs> it's been a while. Seem marshmallowy. Hmm. It's just like all the flavors mixed together. How gross that you just use a stick for this. slept surprisingly well. We went to bed really early because there was no technology and no natural light, so it got dark really, really quickly. We, I reckon we were out by like eight o'clock. And because the toilet's so far away outside, I was like, I'm just not gonna go, I'll just hold it. And then what I thought was really late at night, I just decided, oh, I'm just gonna go. I came back and it was like 9.30. <laughs> so we got a full night's sleep. The only thing that woke me up was like some crickets or birds or the fire. I wasn't even that cold until like the middle of the night when the fire went out. Luckily they gave us really warm blankets. That's the end of Bulgaria. We have to give the car back today. Mm. I'm so sad. I've loved Bulgaria. It's been awesome. Yeah. One Bulgarian kind of adventure left though. An overnight trip. <laughs> Thank you. 
I found a prehistoric beer opener. It's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> Never you've solved.